there, so I'm a part of the YouTube Artists Collective, which is a collective of artists here on YouTube who get together every couple of months and draw based on a specific theme. The theme for this month was spirit animals with a focus on like endangered um, and extinct animals. Now I decided to do the grizzly bear because even though they're not extinct, nor are they classed as endangered yet, they are at 1% of their original population um, just in 200 years and the whole point is to raise awareness for animals and that's what I've done today. I drew him in a red t-shirt and holding a honey pot because, you know, make him a bit more recognisable as a character. Everyone else drew theirs with a girl. I think I missed a memo somewhere. Mine's in a red t-shirt. Anyway, um, this is a serious video so I'm not gonna crack any jokes because I can barely think of any. Barely. Bare barely think. Okay, I'm done. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I drew a grizzly bear because grizzly bears have been my favourite animal since I was very small and my reason behind this is because I've always loved teddy bears and that's probably a stupid reason because you see a grizzly bear in your face, you would run away and scream like a little child. You wouldn't run towards it and cuddle it like you want to with, you know, with teddy bears but what can you do? He's my favourite animal. Don't criticise me, I love them. They're very dangerous, yes, but in my opinion, they're one of the most beautiful creatures on the planet. And unfortunately, they are at danger. Um, they are at danger, that wasn't a sentence. They are in danger. Um, and that's very upsetting. It's because of the human race, unfortunately. The human race, way to, way to go, human race. You're destroying the planet, congratulations. But yeah, the human race is unfortunately killing off grizzly bears. In the span of 175 years, the grizzly bear population in the USA alone went from 100,000 to now currently less than a thousand. They're only in a handful of states now um, and they're slowly slowly dying out and it's very sad since I think about 1975 the grizzlies have been at risk and it's just a terrible situation because humans have been hunting, constructing, logging, um, and just basically destroying the habitat in so many different ways. And grizzly bears actually aren't allowed to be hunted, it's not legal to, but they're often mistaken for black bears, which are actually legal game for some reason, which I think is terrible. Anyway, um, I just think it's awful that the grizzly bear population has been reduced to 1% of their original population in 175 years, that is insane. Um, and that is the reason why I'm going to be donating a percentage of um, the sales I make from selling this print, um, the original piece. Um, and I'm going to adopt a grizzly bear from the Worldwide Wildlife Fund. Um, you can actually adopt a grizzly bear to help conserve their beautiful species. So if you would like to purchase this original print, it's actually up on Etsy right now. Um, I'm also going to have some little 5x7 prints of it, which are only about $10. Um, and I'm also gonna have open my Redbubble store which you can get it on t-shirts or mugs and as I say it's going towards a great cause so if you do have some money to spare then definitely would appreciate you helping me to help save these beautiful creatures so about this actual piece now I have never drawn an animal before uh, so the fur was quite an experience it did take me a while um, and the reason I drew him wearing a red t-shirt holding a honeypot was because I wanted him to look like one of our favourite characters that we all know who he is. Because I wanted to make a point that we all love characters and cartoons and if they go away, you know, the shows end or we don't see the characters anymore, we get sad. But when an animal's dying out and goes extinct, a lot of people don't really think twice or even realise it, to be honest. Um, so I kind of just wanted to make him more recognisable and make him seem more sweet and lovable and um, softer to people. I think it makes him more relatable in a way, I guess. That was kind of my purpose for this. And I actually used this, oh my gosh, I got this incredible gold paint the other day, uh, exactly for this piece. And it's incredible, it's like metallic, so when you turn it in the light it shimmers and it's just, oh, it's amazing. I wish you could see it in person, I can't even really like describe. I'm going to try and show you on camera what it looks like, but it's just, it's just, take from me, it's beautiful. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm really proud with how this piece came out and I hope you like it as well. Definitely check out some of the other artists in this collective because they've done some incredible work and they're all 
for animals that are in danger and uh, proceeds are going towards helping to save them. So it's all for a great cause and I'll leave all the links and everything down below. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. Make sure you take care of yourselves, take care of your environment and check out the description below if you're interested in purchasing prints or um, anything with this design on it basically. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I already said that. Brilliant job. Okay, I'm going to go now because I'm waffling. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.